Welcome back for another 10 minute ab workout. Here's how it's gonna work today. You got 45 seconds of work, you got 15 seconds of rest. We're gonna go through 10 total movements, one time, and then you're gonna be done. So it's gonna be 10 minutes, all abs. Make sure if you do this, it's either on its own or after some of the other workouts here on this platform as a finisher. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is what's called a side plank. So I'm gonna have you go on your forearm. We're gonna have uh, one foot on top of the other and we're gonna lift the hips up nice and high. So we're hanging out here. Now, I'll give you a couple options if you'd like. You can hang out here the whole time, which is totally fine, arm can go up, or we can add what we call a side plank with a reach. So you're gonna reach under, come back up. We're gonna reach under, come back up. Now, if you need to go what's called short lever, you can bend the knees, have the feet behind you, and we can go from the short lever position. This is totally fine as well. We got 20 more seconds. So that's kind of the modified version. If not, we're hanging out here that whole time. So you have short lever, you have the long lever here, and then you have the reach. Those are your progressions and regressions. You got five seconds. Good job. It's almost like someone's pulling a string up on your hips. You should feel that on the bottom of that uh, abs or side body. Okay, one down. Next up, we have the elevated crunch. So you're gonna be on your back. We're gonna have a 90 degree angle from our heel to our knee to our butt. And we're just gonna keep everything here as is. And we're gonna crunch. So we're pushing that belly button down. Hands can go kind of on your head to help protect your neck if you need to. You're gonna push that belly button down. I say this in just about all the ab workouts that I have. It's not a race. I want you to really engage the midsection. And you're gonna have a slight pause at the top. Good, we're halfway there, you got 20 seconds. This 45 seconds of work is no joke, especially when it comes to the midsection. You're really gonna feel it. <sighs> Keep breathing. Good job. Stay with me, we got five seconds to go. We're gonna do the side plank again, but we're gonna switch sides. Good, okay, I'm gonna switch to the other side. This time my right arm is gonna go to the ground. Move this, legs straight out. So we have short lever, long lever, and then the reach. Here we go, lifting up. We'll go long lever first, hands up. Someone's pulling your hip to the ceiling. You're gonna hang out here. Now if you wanna add that reach, you can get a good pace. Reach, come back up, back down, and up, good. Keep that going, short lever if you need it. We're here, hips up, and hold down. Always give you different options here when doing this. Good job. Keep breathing, this is a good stabilization movement to help stabilize your spine and your midsection all the way to the end. And done, good job. Okay, next up we have, we call it kind of the hip thrust or I'll call it the hip raise today. You're gonna have your hands underneath your butt and all we're gonna do is we're gonna thrust to the ceiling with our feet. We're here, thrusting up. Good, nice and controlled. Thrust and back down, thrust. Good. It's gonna target a little more, I guess you could save your lower abdomen area. Keep moving, keep moving. Good job. Keep going, keep going. Thrusting in the air. You got this. We got 10 seconds to go. And then my arch nemesis is next. The hollow body. Hold. Good, if I had good music going, it'd be like dun, dun, dun. Okay, hollow body hold. I'm gonna give you two options. First one is the knees bent. Second one is both legs out. Hands over your head. Here we go. Knee bent, it's like an upside down banana. Both legs out, it burns. Keep that belly button down. You got this. Good. The key though is to try to keep that lower back on that ground. You're gonna to wanna to lift it up. This 
This is the number one thing besides Superman's I need to work on. Come on, Dave, you got this. Stay with me, guys, we're almost done. You got three, two, one, and done. Good job. That one burns, holy moly. Okay, we got the reverse crunch. So in some of the other ones, we've done double crunches, reverse crunch here. I'm actually gonna have your hands underneath your butt. Make it a little bit easier on your back. Legs straight out. We're gonna go knees to the chest. Good. Nice and controlled. Shoulders are off the ground. You got this. Whew. Make sure we bring the knees to the chest the best that you can. Good work. We're halfway there, 20 seconds. If you have to go head on the ground, that's fine too. If you have some neck issues, keep bringing the knees to the chest. Good. We got less than 10, and you got this. Finish strong. And done. Okay. Good work. We got plank to push-ups next. So we're gonna be in a forearm plank position. We're gonna go up into a push-up position. So this is a great core stability movement. It's also gonna activate the shoulders a little bit as well. So we're here, you're gonna pop up, back down. Up, back down. Good job. Keep those hips still if you gotta spread your feet. That's fine as well. Gives you a better base. Good. Popping up. Good. You got this, stay with me. Popping up, if it's too hard, just hang out here in a plank. If not, up and down. Under this arm. Good. Well done. We've got the scissor kick. You got three more to go. Scissor kick. We got the star plank. And then we got the bicycle crunch. So we're gonna go hands underneath our butt. And we're gonna go side to side with our feet. Shoulders off the ground. Look at your belly button. It's not a race with the scissors, with the feet. Just get a good pace. You gotta go head to the ground, that's fine. If not, stay with me. Good. My midsection's starting to fatigue. You got this. Feels good. That's what we want. We wanna engage that muscle group. Keep pushing. Good work, less than five seconds, all the way to the end, come on. And done. Good work, okay? Two left, we're gonna start out with that star plank. So hands are gonna go wide, feet are gonna go wide, like we are a star. And we're hanging out here. The wider that you go, the harder it's going to be. Keep that head up. And we're hanging out here. Push that belly button to your spine. Squeeze your glutes the best that you can. Good work. We're almost through. Hang out here, we got less than 20 seconds. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Five seconds ago, you're not stopping until the end. As soon as we're done here, we got bicycle crunch. This is it, our last movement. You've done a great job so far, okay? Finish with the bicycle crunch. I love these 10 minute quick ab workouts. Uh, it's kind of like a finisher to your daily workout. And it kind of ends your day on a good note. Good, control. Elbow to knee. Good work. And you got this. 20 seconds to go. And this is it. Another 10 minute abs in the books. Woo! 
Ooh. Ooh. Feel that burn. Well done. Thank you so much for joining me on this quick 10 minute ab finisher. We got plenty more of these, so feel free to try out some of the other ones. I appreciate your time. Have a good rest of the day.